so much, Adam. All right, we are covering the Miss New Mexico United States pageant this morning, which you can watch this weekend. We met a few of the ladies in the pageant last hour. Joining us this hour is co-executive director of the pageant, Daisha Rudsky. Did I get that correct? Yes. Perfect. Some of the contestants as well, Jennifer Sturdivant and Christine Salazar. Thank you, ladies, so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. You Thank bet. You. Let's get right into it. Tell me about the event. If I were to attend the pageant, what could I expect with this type of pageant? Well, we're going to have a really fun opening number in a red dress like fashion show. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of fun uh, for those that come to watch. Yeah. Um, but it's just going to be 33 beautiful women in, in four different categories. Um, just having a blast. And they're going to see a swimsuit category, an evening, uh, evening gown category. We're going to do an onstage question for those that are in the top five. Okay. But um, yeah, it's just going to be a great show. I always hear the onstage interview is the most nerve wracking. <laughs> it actually is. Is it? Yeah, we're actually going to ask one question to all okay. the girls, so we're going to kind of hide them in the back and so that they can't hear each other. So they don't get to prepare for the question, right? Correct. It's kind of just here's a question, go. Yes, it was, it's about you know being able to speak at something yeah. like this. Can yeah. you can you talk? And what I like about this pageant, we were talking earlier, this pageant, um, you don't have talent, correct. but the talent really is that they have to participate in charity events before the pageant, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. It, they have to have a cause, a yeah, passion. A reason. Yes. Which is perfect. Tell me about that. What's your charity? Um, I actually, I'm not focused on one charity. I do multiple fundraiser um, community events. Uh -huh. So what I do is I put together an event and I help out that cause. So I take it from beginning to the very end. and. Um, and I raise money and I help whatever is in need at that time. And, and Jennifer, you represent Mrs. Uh, Sandoval County, rather? Yes. yes. Um, tell me about that, the, just the support from, you know, Sandoval County in general. How has it been? Um, it's been great. I mean, just the, the whole pageant itself has been just wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, the directors have been absolutely phenomenal to work with. And, you know, this is just fun for myself and my family and just right. to get out there and you know, enjoy myself. Absolutely. Family, you have children? I do. I have two girls, and my husband and 13-year-old and 11-year-old girls. What have they told you about you running in this? Um, um, do they really look up to you, being able they to are be brave enough to do something like this? At first, I thought they were going to be like, Mom, what are you doing? You're too old to do this. But <laughs> they are so excited for me. They, I mean, they just cannot wait. They want to try on my crown. They want to put my heels on. Mm -hmm. And they're just, they're just my biggest supporters. Yeah. So absolutely. It's, it's wonderful. I love it. Great inspiration. Yes. I absolutely believe that. Yes. Uh, let's talk about you, uh, Christine. You represent northern New Mexico. Yes. So what does that in entail? Is that Española? And it's pretty much all of northern New Mexico. So I'm originally from Coyote, New Mexico. Okay. Very small. And so I'm just representing all of the northern um, region. Uh, a lot of the charity or the charity work that you do, is it around northern New Mexico? It is. Um, well, you know, Española doesn't really have too many charities to actually get involved in. So um, we did bring this really awesome organization into Española that actually just happened. Oh. Um, and then um, it's called Girls on the Run. There's actually an organization out of Santa Fe. So we branched off into Pahuaque and Española, which okay. is really neat. And then also, um, I did volunteer a few times at the Adelante program, which is uh, homeless youth and families. And so, I guess it's just being involved in, in different activities. Right. And, and so, this Girls on the Run program, I would love to take it to so many places. So, it's really neat. What we do is uh, we coach the uh, young girls third through sixth, and um, we teach them just different self, you know, self confidence okay. building. And they need team that. Building. Yes, they need that especially the you know these ages, and they're just awesome. And then we also train them to run a 5K run at the end of the 10K program, uh, 10 week program. That's so great. You that's know, awesome. that's what I like to hear. A lot of times people think pageants, and they're just thinking glitz and glamour, but that's not at all what no. this is about. No, it's beauty with the purpose. Right. And you know, as we mentioned, we have you know women that are married, have children, and younger women that are not married, what is the age range Absolutely. of the, the competitors? Well, we actually have nine categories. June 6th, we have another category that starts with Little Miss, eight years old, all the <laughs> way up to 19 for our teens. Then it starts from 20 all the way up. Misses can be, we, we kind of have a cutoff at 65, but <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, pretty much for all ages. Yeah. And we kind of cover all of our categories, really mm -hmm. cover everybody, even non-married um, women who have children. Oh, great. So it's, it's wonderful to be able to bring something to everyone who can get involved in in the community. Absolutely. Tell me when and where. It's going to be this weekend um, on Sunday. Doors open at 2.30 and the show starts at 3. It's going to go till about 6 o'clock. That sounds like a lot so, of fun. Yes, and then they have interviews, uh, private interviews with the judges on Saturday night. Okay, oh wow. Yeah, Can they learn more about the, the ladies? 
um, on a web, uh, web page? Yes, we have uh, MissNewMexicoUnitedStates.com, uh, and then you can get tickets on Ticketmaster. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Ladies, Thank good you. luck. Thank, Thank you so much. So Thank much. you for having us. You bet. And again, if you want more information on the pageant, go to our website, krqe.com. We'll be right back.